There it is. Good day, boys and girls. Just Fest 2016 at an end. My last, my last beer from Jesse, my friend in Florida. Jesse Beers exclusive. I was scared of this guy, but I already had three of them. They're 10.0. And I had a 12 pack of Newcastle Brown Ale besides that. So, yeah, I'm shit faced. But this beer needs to be mentioned. Because it is an IPA, double IPA, double Imperial Ale. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Swamp Beer. Swamp, Swamp, Ape. Swamp Ape by Florida Beer Company. I, I don't think you can get it out of Florida. I don't think you can like go live in San Antonio, Texas, or Texas, Tennessee, and get this beer. You have to be in Florida to get this beer. Florida Beer Company. Florida Beer Company. It is... I drank three of them. It is a robust flavored beer. But it's not punishing. I hate IPAs. I'm not a big fan of IPAs at all. I think they're too abrasive. There's... Beer is bitter. It's meant to be bitter. That's what makes beer, beer. Is the bitterness. But when you go to the IPA, to the double IPA, it gets overboard. It gets crazy. It's like sucking on a Jolly Rancher that's seasoned with lemon. You're going to get one pallet on this. No pop. No, no, no sniff. Very bold. Very strong. Very sharp. Not for the faint at heart. But delicious too. There's a warmness to it because it is 10.0. It's high alcohol. But I, I don't think they did that just for fun. I think they did, did, they did that to enhance the flavor. Taste. Yeah, it just sets on your stomach better, you know. If this is any other IPA, I'd be vomiting out my ass right now. And with that, I go to the guzzle. Beautiful. Actually, the guzzle is better than the palate. It's just because, uh, You get the, yeah, you get the full conception of the beer instead of sipping on it. But this is not your guzzling type of beer. This is 10.0. This is not. I'm shit faced right now because of this goddamn beer. Drink responsibly. Love your fellow man. I love you, Jesse. Thanks for the beer. Next to come is a gift from Dom. He gave me like six different beers. He's cleaning out his fridge. He's like, Corey would be interested in this, you know. 
So I got a lot of work ahead of me. A lot of hangovers. Love your fellow man. I love you, Jesse. I hope you enjoyed this series of reviews. I'm sorry I kind of skipped out on those one, two. My uh, director was asleep and I wanted the beers. I wanted to taste them. So I drank them, but I made mental notes and I even made notations of how they go. Okay, uh, love your fellow man, be merry. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. That's the most important. Without beer, you can still be merry. But sometimes beer helps on being merry. And that's the truth. That's the God honest truth. You can say, hey, being sober is the way to go or being drunk is the way to go. But sometimes there's only one way to get merry. And that's through a bottle of hooch. And anybody can fight me on that. That's fine. Let's sit down and talk about it with a beer. Goodbye.